Okay, guys. This guy is going crazy. Well, he loses the content. No more content. He loses uh, his brain and he wanna shoot on the ground. He wanna shoot on the ground, cabrón. No content. <laughs> okay, cabrón. I see you. Bye. One, two, three, action. Welcome to 2020. We're running out of content and we're gonna be shooting into the ground. It seems like that's what people are interested in, shooting up or shooting down. So. We're gonna go down. Just Benny, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> We're gonna see how deep into the ground these arrows can go. They're all gonna have practice tip. And I'm gonna use a PSE recurve traditional bow. Shoots about 170 feet per second. Okay, cabron, wait, wait, wait. Let me record you for the side because. <laughs> uh, wait, which direction do you want me to move my ladder? I don't know. Where you wanna shoot? Oh, I'm gonna go here. I'm in the front? No, stay there. Okay. I don't know why I need to go up in the ladder to pick up some momentum on the arrows. That's very ready. I'm ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go back a little bit to record everything. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Fire in a hole. Ah, cabron. Let's go check. Well, don't pull it out, and then we're gonna do them all together. But I shoot them. Let me see. I think uh, two inches. Two inches, and one quarter. I. Okay. Next. It's gonna be the PSE compound. The Evoque 31 shoots about 340 feet per second or so. Again, practice tips. That's ready, ready? I'm ready. <laughs> you got me? Yes. Fire in the hole. Ah, cabron, only three inches. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, cabron, how about you know, cabron? We don't, don't remove know. the. <laughs> we don't remove the arrow already. <laughs> oh yeah, you wanna do this one? No. Yeah, you're stronger than me. You can come on. I don't wanna go in the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> just, do, just do it here. Take this one. This is a pocket shot sent to us by pocketshot.com, I think. The website. Ah, oh, cabrón. You're gonna need a release. It shoots. A, it's a pretty much a slingshot. Just put it. Let me see it. Wait. It's a slingshot. Wait. What the? Okay. Shoots, uh, depending which pouch you put on there, it shoots uh, steel balls or arrows. Jasperi uh, is a little bit stronger than me, so he can pull better or more. Oh, this is already, oh yeah. Yeah. Good luck, just don't fall, okay? Because you're gonna land on the arrows. <laughs> Abron. Abron, please. This is probably the funniest video I think we've done. Wait, let me go back. Wait, that's a good thumbnail too. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Go. Cabron is bent. No, it's good. It doesn't have to go straight Cabron. in. The, the, the part is... Cabron, that's good. I know the... Um, it's good, don't worry. The other part is here. It I, is? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll take it out, just come back down. <laughs> just please don't fall. Ay, cabrón. What if I push you? Oh. <laughs> so there they are. We don't know how deep they all went in. We'll measure them right now with the measuring tape, but that's that. Ay, cabrón, these ones go to two, in, two and a half. Two inches, two inches that one. Oh. Next is gonna be the mini crossbow from uh, Hickory Creek. This has a 150 pound draw. Let me show you guys the operation. Simply you cock it back, put it there, and that's it. Very simple. This goes in there like that. And that knocks in right there. Okay, just are you ready? I'm ready! Most people go hunting for meat and food. Not us, we hunt for dirt. <laughs> How much dirt does it take to stop an arrow? Okay, I'm gonna go here. One, two, three. Wow. Three inches and a half. I love this video the most, I don't know why. Because <laughs> it's so simple. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna need fletching because I'm not really shooting it far. It's just coming back down. This fletching, I'm just gonna take it off. 
hopefully it doesn't make a big difference the carbon is good no cracks anywhere so it's just gonna come straight down it's not gonna need to fly beautifully ah where's the caulking thing okay so this is a 10 point from 10 point the nitro xrt it's one of the fastest crossbows out in the market shoots about 470 feet per second the way it works very simply you grab this accu draw you put it in the front start caulking silently the risers sit in the front and the middle to give it a better vibration control and less noise this tucks back in there like that fingers out of the way you bring your string all the way back and here's your arrow so we'll put that in there like that and I'm shooting it down like I said I don't think it's gonna make a difference one of the fletches fletching that's very ready I'm ready it's nice in there tucked in safety off fire in a hole Whoa, oh man. look at that what a that one difference. goes six inches and a half okay time to get the measuring tape out okay I wait for you here because watch wow this one is almost yeah cabron easy six, almost go half no more than six, six inches seven inches three quarters oh my god <laughs> you see that you, you hear that? Seven inches, three quarters. <laughs> Cabron, maybe, maybe my guess is good. Seven inches, three quarters. We always estimate this, estimate these. Oh, that's a cool uh, thumbnail too. Hold on, just ready. Okay, let's start. Which one do you want to do first? We should the... Recurve. Let's see with the recurve, which is this one. Get a little closer, Jasperi, or let me reposition myself. We got five and a half inches. No way. Yeah. Five and a half on the recurve. Next, we did the compound. Eight and a quarter on the compound. You seeing that, the measuring tape? Yeah. Eight and a quarter on the compound. And then we did the pocket shot. It was this one, right? Yes. Oh, that's did pretty good too, actually. Five and a half. Yep. So that's good. Is it be getting the same results from both of those? That's actually really interesting. And then we did the Hickory Creek. Oh, that went in more. Eight inches. What was the other one? Eight and a quarter. Yes. Eight and a quarter. So the Hickory and the compound did the same thing almost. I don't know why I'm sticking them back in the ground, but the moment of the truth. Ugh. Oh boy. 10? Almost 11. I'm gonna give it an 11, just because it went in so deep. 11 inches. Big, three inches difference. But considering it's a little bit wet. So the condition of the dirt, it's been rained on for about a week, sort of. It's semi-dry, semi-wet. The surface is kind of wet, as you guys can see. Oh, that's the video. Yeah. It was exciting, right? Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> no, really. Because I want to know how uh, how go deep. Yeah. Go go the the, the arrow. Yeah, because, I was just because I believe. Well, I believe. You it thought it was only gonna be one, two, two inches? inches max. That's from, Three and a half. that's from the time we just shot them up and then came down on their own uh, velocity terms. Yeah, but velocity. I consider it the max three and a half. Yeah, but go almost 11. Well, 11. Depends oh, yeah, on the dirt. That dirt was a little bit harder up there. This yeah. is a little bit softer. Well, no, now because rain everywhere. Yeah, so this is not really soft and uh, it's a medium level dirt. I'm all expert when it comes to dirt and uh, we got a bunch of bark over there. We should shoot that too. 2020 oh, no. content. Go, go <laughs> inside. You never found the. You think so? Yeah. Then we're gonna have to dig into the yeah. bar. <laughs> okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next one. No, there ain't no stopping us. Uh.
fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'd be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.